Good morning, good evening, about your friendly neighborhood, your Power Johnson. And today's videos for nothing in particular, but uh, there's been something that's been heavy on my mind, and this needs to come out because I've been getting so many messages, and not just messages, but people that I see on my day to day. Like I have a few uh, agency meetings I've been to, a few group things that I've been through, and um, it hit me. Plus, I know that I haven't done one of these real talk moments in a long time. But before we get started, let me just say that this video is sponsored by uh dinner with the god of war my new fan film coming out you know in may make sure you guys check that out that's why we have this picture of me i'm going to become kratos kratos is going to become me um but to the to conversation let's let's get to where this is about to go so i'm irritated and i'm gonna tell you why i'm irritated but the thing is i want to explain something i want to teach in my irritation if that makes sense um i have the biggest issue with people always asking me or not just asking me, but saying that, you know, my career is not going to where I need a manager. I, I want you guys to understand what a manager is. I, and I mean, I'm not a manager, so don't message me and ask me like, oh, well, what's your thoughts? And can you be my manager? Yada, yada. I'm not a manager. I mean, I manage my son, but that's that's my son. I manage him in life. I'm, I'm, his, I'm his dad. Um, so a manager's job is technically in, in the film world is a manager works for you technically and this is no dismiss to any manager that i've ever had this is not dismissed to anybody on my team no managers currently this is no disrespect to anybody in that field that works with me because i last thing i ever want to do is dismiss anyone that's helping me or working for me or helping me become better me but what i want to say is i'm irritated with people always saying like i ask people like you know how you doing what's your career like and they're like oh man i'm doing films i'm doing all this and I'm like, that's dope. I'm like, all right, cool. And they're like, but I'm really, I'm really mad and bummed out because I need a manager. And the thing is, is um, it, it irritates me. Now, I also want to say this: this is not dedicated to anyone on my team. I do not want that no one on my team to think that I'm coming for them because I wasn't even thinking about anybody on my team when I thought about this video. I just want to say that first. So don't think this is for you. This is for the individuals, mainly actors, who think that they can't act or get roles because of a manager. Let me say this here first. You hear it first. Every film that I've ever worked on from 2007, officially, that's when I started acting, till that I've been in officially, and I've done to 2022, has been all me. I did not have a manager work on getting me any of these i'm not sitting here saying i haven't had a manager or didn't but i will say that every single role that i booked personally has came from my own merit which proves that you do not need a manager now what i will say is since i've gotten a manager yes i've gotten a little bit more work however i am tired and irritated of hearing people out here talking about that i can't work because i don't have a manager that is straight bs and I don't want to cuss because I'm trying to work on lightening my cussing only for my music and not for my real talk and my my day to day, unless it's acting. It irritates me. So if you one of these people out here to think that you can't do anything because you don't have a manager or you blame your manager, you're you're an idiot. Like and that's straight up. I, I mean, and I, I don't want to be disrespectful to you, but to an extent, I kind of do because I need you guys to wake up and smell the coffee. Um, like real talk. You don't need a manager to get you roles. And technically, a manager is not supposed to get you roles. Technically, that's an agent. And then that's a whole nother thing. Most people say, oh, I don't have agents. Well, a lot of reason why you don't have an agent is because, for one, you don't have no work to show. For two, you have nothing to submit. For three, you haven't submitted. So number four, you haven't even went out to reach any of these people. And that's why. A lot of people are like, well, how do I get a manager? Well, hell, do you have an IMDb pro? Like, have you ever signed up for that? Have you, like, emailed? Have you sent out a cover letter? Have you done your due diligence on your own behalf to get you a manager? You, people, and that's what's wrong with, it's not just actors, but I, I, it's just people in general. People, and this is what I deal with even in financial coaching. People think that just because you are on this earth as a human being that the, the I don't know, like, a black hole in the universe is just supposed to drop down a special person or a special thing just to come save you. Everyone wants to be saved. And it, it, it irritates me and it, it's perplexing because now we're in 2023 and we're still at the point that people still think that something is just going to jump out and save them. Like a manager is just supposed to save your acting career. No. 
I earned the right to get a manager. I, I've been hustling. I don't know if anybody notices, but Jarrell Power Johnson has been hustling since I've been in the game. Real talk. I'm telling you this. Most of these roles have all been me. Now, i gotten a lot more roles now. True. Thank God. And this is no disrespect to them. And I'm very grateful to everyone on my team, my PR team, my manager team, my, my agency team, everyone. I, I'm very thankful. And then friends. But no one else is out here doing the work. Like they just expect managers and agents and PR people to just come and get them discovered or get them famous or get them money or whatever the hell they want. It don't work that way. You need to do it yourself because it's same as in the in music world. Why would I produce your album when no one likes you? I'm just one person because I, I think you're good. That means that I should sign you. No. What have you done? What is your track record? Are anybody following you? Do you have followers? Do you have listeners? Are you standing for anything? Are you are you encouraging anyone? What are you doing? Are you just sitting on the couch playing Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy? Like, what are you doing? Like, people, and I, I don't know. I don't want to sit here and just look at you like I'm confused, but I'm really confused. And I don't want to sound like one of those old school uh, get to college, get off the couch commercials, but real talk, man, like, you guys are some lazy bums, like especially after COVID, after the pandemic. You would think that people would be way more inclined to go out and hustle harder than they've ever done. But for some reason, people just think, oh, I can't do it because I don't have a manager. That's bull. I got Black Panther Wakanda forever without a manager. How about that? You know how? And I'm going to tell you how. I'm going to tell you exactly how. You know, I manifested it. Then after I manifested it, I did the work. People aren't doing the work. They want everyone else to do the work for them. And it don't work that way. It just doesn't. You have to go hustle. Go find it. I mean, true, a manager can help. But let's put it this way. A manager has way more clients than you, especially a good one. PR, uh, agency, they, or manager, whoever. I bet you they have more clients than you. So what happens when you sit there and you don't get work because they got 60 other people that are doing something? You're just going to sit here and say, oh, well, my manager ain't got it for me. So. That's why. I, I, how you doing, bro? Oh, I'm doing good, man. I did this film, this film, this film. How about you? Oh, well, you know, I will be doing everything, but you know, I don't have a manager like you. Like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Like, I was doing it without it. So there's no excuses. But everybody got an excuse. Everybody wants to blame someone else for the reason why they suck. That's literally it. So let's let's do that. Let's. let's it's February, March. Can we? Can in March? Can we make a? I say do it now. But for some of you lazy people, you need time. So can we make a pack within ourselves and in the acting community and the film community to, to just do better? Go out and get your own work. Don't wait or rely on a manager. You don't need a manager. Like, get on IMDb Pro. If you want a manager that badly, search up a manager. Look, Send your cover letters. See if they're looking for you. Send them your stuff. But I guarantee you this. It's going to require you to do that work. But that's not guaranteed they're going to say yes because they're going to be like, what have you done? What are you doing? What can you show? If I follow you on Facebook or Instagram, what am I going to see? Am I going to see a bunch of fake followers from these fake influencers because you follow in their footsteps? Like you're getting all these brand deals because you, you, you're paying for your followers or are people really supporting your dream and your legacy and what you what you got out there? My goal, I tell everyone and I will say it again, is to uplift the next generation. I want the next generation to be better than what we were. I want the next Spike Lee. I want the next uh, Martin Scorsese. I want the next Michael Mann. I want the next top dog. You know, and then I mean, I'm with the next Johnny Depp. I'm with the next uh um um, um who am I thinking of? I can't even think of actors in my head. Uh, uh, uh Al Pacino, um Morgan Freeman, Denzel Washington, Will Smith, Michael B. Jordan. I'm with the next one of these guys, Sidney Portier. I don't want nobody just sitting around and just expecting to get like this. This, this. I'm going over my time, and I'm trying to digress. But if you guys take anything from what I said today. Please listen, please don't expect a manager to be the one that find you work. At the end of the day, the best work you can ever find is the work that you find yourself. And even if the manager does it, you have to even prove to the manager that you want it or you have to show the manager some kind of work ethic for you to get it because the manager don't know you personally. You know you even in life with money, with your credit, with all that. You have to do you. You only you can do you best that no one else can do you the way you can do you. 
so yeah, man, I love you all like play cousins. I don't mean to yell and get mad at you. I just want you guys to just be different, man. Let's 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 do something different, man. Don't always think that because you don't have a manager or an agent or a PR team that you can't do anything. I've been doing this, bro. I've been doing this before I had a manager. I've been doing this before I had a PR. Before before people knew who Drill Power Johnson was, I've been doing it. Before I was trending on Google, I was doing this myself. When nobody was bumping my music in the car, when nobody was watching my low-budget-ass vlogs on YouTube, I was doing this. I was hustling. So, yeah, I so if anybody, and that's another, if anybody come at me talking about, oh, you don't deserve it, you don't know anything about me or the struggle or the grind. And more than likely, you don't know anything about yourself. So, yeah, man, that's my video. Love you all. I play cousins. Dinner with the God of War. May. We're shooting. It's coming out November. Be prepared. It's going to be dope. Trailer's coming soon. Trailer's coming soon.